What's up guys, Best of Games here, and we're starting a new Let's Play, because why not? So we're playing some Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance, this is for the GameCube, um, 2005, yeah, look at that shit, 2005, alright, so we're gonna play a little bit of this, and uh, depending on how well this goes, we may go for more. Um, so let's go in. New game. I have an epilogue here. And I don't know what I was doing with that chapter 15 file. I couldn't remember. I don't know. I haven't touched this game in uh, quite some time. So we're going to go to the bottom one. And uh, in the grand master plan of this whole thing, I have every intention of playing through this game and then going to the Wii one. Which, of course, I'm going to use the same file from this one for the Wii one. That's the ideal goal here, but we'll we'll see how that works. Now, I would normally, just because I like just going through games, I play them easy. But there are some people that I know in real life that would actually have a problem with me playing easy, especially on a recording. So, and also if I want to go to the Wii version, I have one of the discs that uh, you can't use the easy file. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's a problem. It just hard locks and doesn't work. So I have to at least play normal if I want to do my Grindmaster plan. So, normal it is. Um, we'll just do random because I'm not... You see, the thing is about Fire Emblem... Oh, hold on. Let's just watch. Because there's actual CG cutscene. Well, Ike, you had enough? Apparently not. Look at those wooden swords. Dad! Ike! Uh, go away. Oh. Missed. Shouldn't shout. Jesus. Oh, let me shout at my opponent so that way they know I'm about to attack them. I? Oh no! Oh no, he's hurt from a wooden sword to the back. Ooh. Such harshness. Hey, look, it's a chick. I can't remember who is. I think that's his mom? Maybe? I don't remember. I haven't played this in a while. Fucking knocked out by a fucking wooden sword in the back. What a fucking pussy. Jesus. So, as I was saying, Fire Emblem games, for me, personally, and I know I might be weird saying this, I personally enjoy them more on a handheld system. Now, that's not to say that they're not that this one isn't good, but I prefer handheld Fire Emblems. I prefer handheld RPGs in general. I would prefer to play an RPG on my 3DS any day of the week than on a TV. <clears throat> and I might just be weird for that one, but I feel like it just better serves itself on a handheld. So that's just my personal opinion, but... And I'm not going to read what they say. Um, I'm not going to be one of those people. If you want to see what they say, feel free to... Uh, Oh, they're still heavy. Yeah, that's why he got knocked out like a little pussy. Um, if you want to read along, feel free. Pause if you need to. I'm not going to go that fast. I'm probably going to keep it at the speed just because I'm not even reading it. So, um... Oh, just until he lands a single blow. Oh, yeah, well, good. 
Oh, Boyd. No, Boyd, he's pretty lucky. There are going to be certain people that I'm going to focus on in this game because I can't level up everybody because it doesn't it doesn't work. Honestly, if you try to play a Fire Emblem game that doesn't have little things in it like the Sacred Stones or the new 3DS one or um, which is Awakening by the way or um, what is it? What is it? What is it? The one on the DS Shadow Journey. Um, those all had a little bit of ways to kind of level up your characters in your own, like, kind of in a grindy way, and a lot of the Fire Emblems, or at least the Fire Emblem series is based on, you know, not really being set up for being a grindy kind of game, um, so yeah, this is gonna tell me how to move. Oh, as you play the game, tutorial windows will blah blah blah, oh crap, I hate yes, fuck me, um, I have to like do this and then options. Okay. So I'm gonna have the animations go for a little while. Um I'm gonna put that to fast. I lied. I'm gonna change it. Uh game speed. I don't like when they move really fast. I think it looks kinda gay. <laughs> I don't like it, so I'm not doing that. Um Help window. Is that the one that I don't want? Maybe? I don't know. Fucking um, auto cursor, auto turn ends, you are facing, um, that's for like OCD people, message sounds, um, bonus XP display, alright, um, that's right, that's in this game too, um, I think this is okay, um, I'm gonna get rid of that, I don't need no damn help, I know what I'm doing. So we're gonna move to like this spot here, so that way he can attack us first, which doesn't make any sense. We should just wait back here. He should move his spaces. Cause see how he can move these spaces? I should wait here. He should move toward me and then I should attack him. But the tutorial makes me have to, you know, go up to him and be like, yeah, I'm gonna get attacked by you, faggot. Faggot. Alright, that's because he doesn't move. No, I do not. Fuck off. Oh, man, I wish I didn't say yes. Um... Okay, this is the shove mechanic in this game. Um... Each Fire Emblem kind of has its own little mechanics. Just out of, like, weirdness. Oh, you can do it. Oh, no. Okay, anyway. Oh, I... Come on, you're supposed to dodge that shit. Except it wasn't against who was gonna dodge. So, if you've never played a Fire Emblem game before, maybe I should go into a little bit about this, but, to be honest, I don't wanna. Oh, yeah, that's right, it's gonna teach me to shove. There's the shove. Push people around, it's kinda fun. What do you mean you're not... you're not... no. Sorry, your logic makes no sense. See, the MT, which I guess is Might, I don't know why the fuck it's might. Why can't it just be strength? You know, like most other RPGs. But whatever, Japan. Um, so your might is how much attack you're going to do. Ike is, Ike's gonna do 9. He is 9 HP. I'm gonna win. Hit rate is 100%. That is the max you can get. Um, I think in some of the earlier Fire Emblem games, even if it said hit 100%, I think that there was a small tiny fraction of a chance that you can miss because they count like a hundred percent as like 99.5 or bullshit like that so i remember reading in one of them that like even if you had a hundred percent hit you could still miss <laughs> and i thought that was kind of fucking hilarious and trolly um but yeah let's just attack look at these beautiful animations guys fire emblem on the gamecube which, by the way, this is the first time that a Fire Emblem game was on a console in the United English-speaking countries, states. I said that weird, but fuck you, I don't care. Um, so yeah, Fire Emblem also has a lot of uh, people that talk and stuff. It was decent. <laughs> 
His dad's like, hey, you suck. Um, go ahead, Mist. Go heal me. I'd call you a bitch, but you're not. Um, oh, that's right. You're not even going to heal me with the fucking staff. You're just going to give me a bullet. Ugh, oh, so stupid. Anyways. Oh, he heal all the small ones. No, I don't need a fucking tutorial to teach me how to use... Oh, by the way, this is the screen that shows you, like, stats, and your HP, and what rank you are, and which one's the help button? That's the help button. Okay. <clears throat> so, that just shows you that, you know, it, you can go through and kind of read everything. If you want to, go ahead and pause and just reread something that I didn't go over because, well, I don't feel like it. Um, and you can go over here, he is, he's got a body size of 9, I don't know what purpose that serves, I think it's for like, um, rescuing and stuff like that, which we'll get into later. Uh, the weapon, weapon level, uh, the highest is S, however most, if you have multiple, uh, weapons that you're proficient in, the only, you can only get one S, and the other ones are gonna just sit at A. And, I mean, it really doesn't matter unless you're getting the legendary weapon, which obviously we don't have, but you will have later. Um, the type is the, the core, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, <coughs> you, we'll, we'll get into that later. Um, my skill is soldier. I am the soldier boy. Um, capacity, blah blah blah, we don't have any of that yet. Then we have our attribute, which is Earth. And no bonuses. These are the supports that we don't have yet. And then Biorhythm. I never really understood this. I'm sure it means something to all the hardcore people that like play this thing like it's their fucking job. But... Let's be honest. Let's be real here. I don't care. Um... No, it actually has something to do with like the effect of how they perform the battle. Based on... You know, whether or not they're in a good rhythm or a bad rhythm or something like that. It means fractions of stats, but to the hardcore people that play this game, like it's their fucking life. Uh, the fun is in Mario too much, I'm like, oh, let me do the timed, the timed uh, block and stuff. Ugh, man, I'm so used to that. Um... Oh yeah, if you look in the corner over here, right on your right, you'll see a little uh, weapon triangle. We'll get into that later, but I figure you can take note of it now. Doesn't hurt. Can I lose? I don't think so. I don't think this one's set up for you to lose. Unless I didn't heal myself, but it wouldn't let me go this far, so... Yeah, that's right. You're not gonna show crit? No, not yet. Okay. I could uh, throw a massive spoiler out here, but I don't know. Nah. Nah. So, level ups are completely random. Um, basically, each character has its own set percentage every time they level up to gain a stat point in each level. And <clears throat> certain people have higher percentage rates for everything, and certain people have lower percentage rates for everything. And that's why a lot of people who play this game will choose to ignore a lot of people based on the fact that they're, they have ze like almost 0% chance to really become anything useful. Um, this game is very stat-heavy, and I'm kind of just speeding through this now. But this game is very stat heavy, um, so it's just something to take note of, I guess. Um, that's the prologue. Oh, oh, right. I was about to say like we're only in the prologue still. Okay. So this is chapter one, and uh, I guess after chapter one, I'm gonna call it for this episode. But uh, I figure the prologue's too short, anyways. And you'll see this uh, this fort later. Um, I believe it is chapter seven. Seven. 
All right. So <clears throat> the girl with the red hair. So if you're playing this game, basically she is useless. And I'm not going to say that she's completely useless, but she's useless. The thing is, every Fire Emblem game always gives you a upgraded unit. Every Fire Emblem game will always give you an upgraded unit to start off with. Um, yeah, they're all talking about, like, Ike's going with her and blah blah blah. And it's his first job. Oh yeah, I'm so prepared to go and everything. But, uh, yeah. Basically, she... You don't want to use her. Because she'll just take all the XP that all of the unpromoted units need. And when you're a promoted unit fighting lower level units, you get less XP. Which makes sense. So, basically, she gains almost nothing out of destroying everything from the beginning. But a lot of people make the mistake when they play this game... That they're gonna be like, oh, well, she's really good, so let's just have her kill everything. Meanwhile, that doesn't help anybody. That just basically cements the fact that you're going to basically lose later in the game. It's great now, but it doesn't fucking mean a thing later. So apparently we get a, a map. Now, explain to me how um, you're just some random dude. Well, you're not really a random dude, but you're a random dude. And you get to just walk in, and you're just like, Oh, I have an overhead map of this entire place, even though I've never looked at it, and there's no such thing as helicopters in this game. So I just get to magically have a map, and I get to see where everybody is, even though I'm standing behind a... Standing behind, say, this... You know, see the blue dots there? That's us. How am I supposed to know that there are people behind that house? And I'm pointing at the screen like you guys can see that. But how am I supposed to know that there's people behind that house? At all. Like, how am I supposed to know that? Do I just magically know that? Like, I don't... I don't get it. Anyway, just... just the gripe. Um... That I have with the series. Like, it should be like a fog of war kind of thing. My personal opinion. But, I guess that made the game too kind of hard, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Oh, here, Boyd's gonna give me some tips. Um... Except I don't give a fuck. Um... Dun -dun -dun. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Yes, enough chit chat. Thank you. Thank you, Tatiana. I think before you engage him, you can look at his weapon. Weapon you use, blah, 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 blah. Ah, weapon trains. Okay, so we're at that point. So, swords beat axes. Axes beat lances. Lances beat swords. There's your weapon triangle. That's it. That's, that's the entirety of the weapon triangle. And then there's also a magic one, I think, maybe? I don't know, I think they scrapped it in, in the newer games. Um, oh yeah, and we should go talk to the villagers and stuff. No, I don't want to see the visit tutorial. I don't think Ike has to be there. No. Can she visit? Of course she can. Okay, good. Some games, the main character is the only person that can go and visit. Which I think is the stupidest idea in the world. But, there are some games that force you to use the main character to visit everything. And if they're not a main character, then they can't visit. Alright, so we're gonna unequip you, because you don't need to get any kind of attacks in. So... Basically, she's gonna be a meat shield, because that's all she's good for. Um... Dick, I know, but that's all she's good for. Um, so we'll have everybody come at her and attack her, because, I mean, let's, let's take a look at her stats real quick. Alright, so she has a defense of 11, and high strength, decent skill, his defense is 5, his defense is 5, and his defense is 8. Oh, okay, Oscar could probably take the hit too, but it's easier to have her just take the hits. She'll gain 1 XP for every single fight that she's in. So eventually, using her as a sponge, she will level up, but it doesn't really make a difference because I'm not going to use her to attack. There's no point. So, we'll have Oscar go here because he's the highest level, and he doesn't need... Uh, take the weapon, blah blah blah. 
Plus, I don't really care for Oscar, so he's probably just gonna sit on the sidelines because I don't like him. Anyways, um, Boyd, Boyd, you're gonna get some fucking XP, bro, because uh, you are the man. You are the man. Did you? What? Um. Boyd, you're supposed to dodge. Fuck. Oh, God. One thing. I kind of wish you had control over the fights in this game. Why do I have so many iron swords? Jesus Christ. Um, I forgot that that happened. Alright, whatever. I hold this sword like a fucking sword. Alright, well, we'll get that XP, bro. Now he's gonna talk. He looks like a fucking... I don't know. Yeah, we're mercenaries. That's right, I guess. Sort of. Oh yeah, bandits like to destroy houses. And there's no way that you can uh, save that house, by the way. I mean, unless you're cheating. Because it's meant to show you that that's going to happen. And there's nothing you can do about it. Sometimes. I mean... You don't want to put your units at risk, because there's something I didn't even mention. Which is, when your units die, they die. There is no, oh, well, they get wounded and then they don't, well, except for, like, Tatiana. Um, but they don't actually come back on the battlefield. Once they die, they die. The only person that you can't have die is a main character. Which, main character specifically, at this point, is Ike. I'm pretty sure that there are some cases later in the game where some other characters can possibly die, and then they still appear throughout the uh, the game in cutscenes and such. But they're they're wounded and they can't they can't possibly function. I don't know. So we're gonna use the advice. We're gonna use the bomb right here because uh, it's good advice. You should heal up every single time to uh, get hurt. And. Also, if you hit X, no, it's not in this game. No, it's not. Fuck. Tits. Uh, God damn it, it's not in this game. Certain games, you can hit a certain button and you see the range of everybody that can attack you. But I guess it's not in this game. Unless somebody wants to point it out to me, I'm using the GameCube controller because that's the only real way to play games on a Nintendo system. Unless you're forced to play otherwise, which, you know. The games are generally pretty good if you're forced to play otherwise. So, Boyd took that guy out. He gets some XP. I love how they just fade into the ground and like fall to the light. Kind of. Don't understand that one, but whatever. I'm not gonna. I mean, I'm not here to judge or criticize. Alright, maybe I am, but I don't know. And then we'll put blah 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 with blah 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 and they can sit together. Okay. So now Ike's got to fight, and yeah. So, like I was saying, if your character dies, they die. That's it. Game over. For them. It's just the uh, nature of the beast in this game. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can trade items, too. Um, the thing is, I don't care enough to do it. Um, I'm going to put him here. And then we're gonna wait, and then we're gonna put Tatiana on here so she can do the visit. Oh, we can't sleep at night. Please help save the village. My mother left me this. Oh, it's a seraphim. Okay, cool. Those aren't useless. Um, we're gonna wait there. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna fuck this dude up. Oh, okay, he can't even use the steel, the steel sword that he has. That's kind of funny. Um, so I mentioned the weapon levels before. Certain weapons you have to have a certain level to use because you need some kind of dexterity and skill with that weapon. So most weapons in this game are basically broken up into simple things like iron, and in this case there's also steel, and then there's something higher, but I can't fucking remember. Oh, that's right, I have the bands, too, because I beat the game bands. Um, so, basically, armlets like this, they're equipable. 
and they alter the direction of level, up, up, uh, level upgrades. So, that's right, because I beat the game once, so anybody that doesn't have an upgrade path set for them, or isn't already upgraded, I believe gets one of these. So, in this case, out of the four people that I have, Boyd and Oscar get one. Now, Boyd's supposed to be a fighter, and Oscar's supposed to be a paladin. Ike doesn't get one because he's going to level, he's going to promote himself in the, in the story. It is part of the story, you can't go around it, you need to be leveled up fully before you get there, or else you don't get to level up in this um, unit class again. So, I mean, that's, you're bad if you uh, fuck up. And she's already um, a promoted character, so she doesn't get a special little band because it doesn't serve her any purpose. Now, he's probably gonna hit me, which is gonna suck. Oh my god, you know how to dodge. Good fucking job, Ike. Um... Yeah, the house is total. Yeah, I just hit you. Ugh. Some of the dialogue in this game, like, it could be better served not having it, because I already did an attack. Oh, that's a critical hit. There we go. Critical hits in this game do three times the damage that they're supposed to do on a normal attack. They happen randomly. There is a percentage that every attack that you do could end up in a crit. Um, but it's just based on basically pure luck. The highest chance that you'll have to crit, I believe, is 50%. I don't think that they allow you to go higher than that, which is kind of smart in there, in my opinion, because, I mean, there are certain games that have allowed you to play online in this game and play against other people, and with hackers and things like that, um, certain people might be too willing to uh, cheat, let's put it that way, I guess. Um, Boyd just kill this guy. Ugh, I don't want to take that chance. I don't need to lose a character in the first. In the first chapter. Um, I'm gonna try not to lose any characters, but if I do, I'm not going back, I'm not restarting, I'm not resetting to get them to keep. They're gonna die. That's it. Um, the only way that I will restart a chapter is if I somehow let Ike die. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, there's no fucking chance Ike is going to die. Because Ike is, uh... He's not overpowered, but... He's certainly not helping us. And the way I play, I like making sure that the uh, main characters are able to handle themselves in pretty much any situation. Um... I have to just... I don't have a convoy yet. Fuck. Alright, whatever. Um, let's go over here and use a Volinary. Maybe I'm saying that right? Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Volinary. Tell me if I'm telling that well. Um, if I am, well, you can go screw yourself, maybe? Um, maybe not. Um, use that. Alright, we got Oscar over here. Now we have a line. And there's nobody else in the field. So now let's just attack this guy. And so. Alright, so Tatiana. Basically, what I use her is just like a pack mule. Because, uh. I'm a dick, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. So that's gonna go there. And then. Yeah, I'm going to take a turn to just restructure everything. So we're going to do a trade here, because you don't need multiple iron swords. You can't even use an iron sword. You fuck it. Oh, he's a lance knight. I'm stupid. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Um, fucking stupid, man. Oh, that's right, this game has lance knights and sword knights and fucking axe knights. Oh, can't they just use everything? Alright, I'm gonna use the Seraph Rogue now. A lot of people are gonna hate me for that, and I don't really give a crap. But, uh, yeah, it's happening. It happened. 
I can't change it now, I did it. I'm gonna hit end because I'm not attacking the void, because that's just stupid and suicide. And I've played this enough to know that that is stupid and suicide. Um, oh, you know what? There isn't a rescue mechanic in this game. That's right, they took it out of this one. Because I just hadn't seen it. Um, yeah, I was gonna talk to him and be like, oh, you can run away now, bitch. And, uh,. Is I gonna die? No, he's fine. Um, we're just gonna... Does this guy have a throwing axe? No, just an iron axe. Okay, so here's a pro tip. All of... the boss characters, like the boss fighters in these, in these games, they can never move from the spot that they are put into unless it is a, a certain reason for like a story kind of thing. I didn't say to equip that. Every time you do a trade with somebody and you unequip something, it's gonna be magically equipped again. It's really stupid and it's really annoying, but I'm not trying to remember that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Sure, let's go. Because I can't really move this. It'll just be a like no help. Yeah, there we go. Who doesn't want to die like that? Oh no, end of the world. Oh look, it's another level up. Let's see the random stat boosts that I get. Oh, you gave me one to magic. Oh, because Ike uses magic so much. Thanks, guys. Dicks. Uh, alright. So, now the stupid thing. Well, it's not necessarily stupid, actually. I like it. Because it gives a chance for healers to come in and just heal everybody. Um, now, see this point here, this flashing point? You need to have the leader unit step on it. Which, I think in this game, is only Ike. I think there might be a chance that there's a chapter where Ike isn't the leader, maybe? I don't remember. But, um... Yeah, so the leader has to step here. Now, if I had a healer in my party here, my healer would come through here, because they'd probably be, like, all the way the fuck back here. Because healers can't fucking fight. And the healer would now run up here, in these extra turns and just sit here and heal Ike and heal Boyd of their small HP differences. Well, small, large. And um, it would just come in and just do that. But I don't have a healer, so that's not gonna happen. And also, here I'll just try it. Tatiana, you can't hit C's. So you go to Ike, C's. C's and clear map. Yes. So. I probably did a really shitty tutorial on this game, but, uh. Oh well. I figure it doesn't hurt for you guys to have some kind of idea of what you're watching, because I know most of you are probably Call of Duty people. But. Uh, yeah. I like doing Let's Plays, and, uh, I like my Nintendo games, so. Oh, Commander Grill is doing blah blah blah, and you won't know about it. I mean, I could spoil things, but again, don't want to. Um, also, Ike's sister's name is Mist, and why is it Mist? I don't know. But she's also a healer, and she's not in here yet. And she joins the, uh, the battle without really any uh, um, desire from her brother and father and blah blah blah. Anyways, so we're gonna save this game and that is gonna be it. So, this is Best of Games and I will see you guys on the next one.